high-speed internet connectivity is an expectation that everybody has nowadays, be that businesses or residents of a city. There's good research that covers the amount of GDP stimulation that occurs as broadband connectivity penetration rises. So it's important for residents, it's important for enterprises, and it's important for cities themselves to encourage and promote growth across the regions. Cities are very diverse environment. If a site hasn't been already thought of in building the fibre network, it could be a very costly and time-consuming exercise. We're seeing more and more interest in wireless solutions, and I think that's because people are realising that these very high throughputs, gigabit per second and beyond, are now available with wireless. I think in the past there was perhaps a perception that uh, wireless couldn't really compete with fibre in terms of the end user experience that was offered, but that's definitely changing. Zhushu have had a, um, a vision for a smart city initiative and they've attracted EU funding. Zhushu is a relatively dense and heavily populated city. Therefore, having a large number of public facilities covered by such a dense network infrastructure enables us to offload bandwidth from the city's fibre networks, achieved through deploying a large number of wireless base stations. There are three key components of Zhushov's Metropolitan Communications Network. There's Resman, a network for city-owned education and utility units. That covers nearly 200 buildings with high-speed broadband connectivity. And we also backhaul hundreds of public Wi-Fi hotspots, which provide free connectivity to either homes, visitors, or other users. There's an intelligent transport system that covers bus stops, traffic lights in a coordinated way that aims to smooth traffic flow through the city. It also has 30 variable message signs on roads to provide real-time information to drivers. Finally, the CCTV, providing live feeds back to a control centre. Because we needed to cover the entire city, we deployed 19 hub sites. Each of those sites can cover a radius of three to five miles. We've always specialised in point-to-multipoint microwave and millimetre wave technology, and that's becoming very much the orthodoxy for millimetre wave for the future. This network is really combining lots and lots of applications onto one physical infrastructure, and that's exciting. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a great use of our technology. So in this network, we're using Vectorstar 26 gigahertz. Um, 26 gigahertz is one of the pioneer bands the EU has identified for 5G. So we can view this network as being a pre-5G network. Because we operate in licensed spectrum, there's no possibility of eavesdropping. Equally, there's no interference to reduce capacity. LMDS solutions deliver such low latency that they achieve virtually the same speed and signal quality as fiber. It's been important that the radio network also provides mobility. I am able to set up a high-speed connection of about 200 megabits per second in literally hours to any point in the city and surrounding area. There's plenty of capacity available for today's needs and also growth for tomorrow. Wireless can offer a very rapid return on investment and that's very attractive in a financial sense. We really see Zhushov's smart city project as being a blueprint for the future. They've actually reduced their telecommunications operating costs by 60%. In the education sector, nurseries and schools all have uh, very high speed and high availability connectivity. On some of the busiest roads in the city, that's reduced travel time by six minutes. It's reduced stationary traffic by up to 26%. For the people in the city, they now have ubiquitous access to high speed broadband, and, and that's a, a great benefit, I think. I think this project really illustrates the way that new wireless technology can benefit not just enterprises, not just people directly on the network, but cities and regions as a whole. The original requirements for the project were to deliver 15 megabits per second, and we've surpassed that by a factor of over 10 times, and I think that's really testament to the quality of the network.